Welcome back to Hit Points Gaming. I'm Chris. Corey. We are doing a little something different today. Uh, Corey just got a new board game table. Finally, yes. So we're going to do a little review of the table, kind of talk about what you did to put it together, how it got here, all that good stuff, okay. and then we'll get up and close and personal with it. All right. Too. So, um, so let's start off. Um, so this is... This is from Board Game Tables. Okay. okay. This was a Kickstarter that I backed quite some time ago, and I am glad it finally came in. Okay. And I have used it. Right. Like, I have played since it's come in, not just <laughs> Okay, played. okay. So, okay. yes, I've had some experience playing on already. All right, yeah, because I see that they do offer a couple different tables, mm -hmm. and I think this Kickstarter is kind of what opened them up. They do own... This is the Duchess. This is the Duchess, correct. This now, is the only option you had on the Kickstarter. Okay, because mm -hmm. I do see the Duchess still available on their website. Of course, it's going to be a little more money than what it was in the Kickstarter. Right. But they do offer some other different tables, a two-player, a four-player, a six... They even have an eight-player table, which is a little larger than this one. Yes. This is rated at what? This is six players. Six players, okay. Yep. Yep. Now, I would have liked the eight players. I would have put... It wouldn't have fit in this room. It's probably going to have to go down in the basement the, once right, we have right. that. But I think this is a good size for now, and I'm sure we'll get into that. Okay. So, this... Um, they offer different kinds of wood. This is a rubber... Rubber wood, yes. they said? Yeah. Okay. Upgraded from pine to the rubber wood. Cool. So, when it got here... Yes. Finally. Finally. Uh, let's see... One, two, three, five boxes. Wow. Were they all big boxes? Or no. Or did they accommodate nothing? Oh, okay. Three big boxes, one for like the, the table itself. Okay. Um, then there's two each for the toppers, because we've got a topper to, to go on top of this. Okay. And then uh, a box for the cup holders and a box for the mat. Okay. Yeah, because they say that themselves, that they, they pride themselves that they should be able to be picked up by two adults the, the the boxes you know so you pick them up one by yourself i was here i stood home for work okay and i helped the ups guy deli bring, it. bring it into my house okay i held cool. the door for him so that that was valid then they say that they should be they might not bring it into your house they say the delivery people but they will be able to you and another person yes can be able to bring the table in, in pieces you could carry <clears throat> okay all right i a, could carry a box okay all right it was heavy <laughs> so the um, the table itself is what like maybe two hundred pounds total, something like that I guess because it's a couple of different pieces, but how sure. big, like how long did it take you to put this together? And how many right. pieces was it? Okay, uh, so as you can see there, I took some pictures in between that you can see right now of the different stages. The instructions were actually fairly simple. I think there was only like four or five steps. Okay. Okay, and. Oh, look, I'm a pro at building Ikea tables. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I already had some idea of, of what to do, uh, and they laid it out real easy. They gave you all the tools. The only thing that you needed was a screwdriver, but they even give you this little thing that you could oh, access. Oh, so they really do provide all the tools. You don't need anything. Exactly. I, I really didn't need anything. I just used my own Okay, did they, did they require you to use any glue building it? Nope, okay. not at all. Okay. Um, so I laid it out, of course. I, I set it up. It took me uh, maybe about two to three hours. I was kind of doing other things in between, uh, but maybe three hours at the most, and I did it by myself. Okay. Okay. The hardest part was when it was on its side, I needed to stand it up, and I didn't want to snap the legs. Turning it on its side, like, I got, like, under it and lifted it over my head, okay. and then I realized that was kind of silly. Why didn't I just, like, go to the other Turn side and lift side. it? Yeah. Okay. So that was the hardest part of the table. I almost hurt myself. Uh, because it is heavy. I was very surprised. Even the topper itself. The topper is big. It's it's Yeah, yeah it's, it's not just like this sturdy. flimsy thing. Yeah. You put it on top and it becomes like a dining room table. Which is what it's advertised to be. You know, your gaming table on the DL, you know? Yes, okay. yes. And like, it's even supposed to, I'm not going to try it, but I'm told that even if you spill, because it's it split down the middle, the topper, and there's right. a bottom and a top layer, um, that it's not going to mess up your game underneath, okay. which I find great cool. yeah, yeah. you know and another thing that i really like about having a table like this finally i think the topper is necessary like because it was extra for the topper in the kickstarter campaign if you're ever thinking about buying a table definitely get the topper for one thing especially if you have pets okay because we can play a game not finish it put the topper on and the game stays perfectly you know okay. where you left off because you know cats are running around knocking things over now having this out for let's say about a week I've got scratches on the top of the topper because of cats. Oh, okay. It's it's going to happen. So it's, you know, when it first came in, um, there was some uh, actual damage 
to the table. Okay. And I know that was an issue with the Kickstarter campaign. The first batch, they had some shipment issues. And then they paused, and they went back and, and how they could um, repackage it to make it safer. So when I got this in, it was like wrapped like a mummy. I was thoroughly impressed with how the table was packaged. The table itself was amazing. No flaws whatsoever. Then I got to the topper, and I opened the topper up. No damage caused from shipping, but there was, like, the stain itself right. was chipped in okay. multiple spots. Okay. So I did reach out to uh, the company, and within, actually, like, 15 minutes, they got back to me. Oh, cool. Very it, cool. Very responsive, and they were like, hey, please send me some pictures. Did you call them or you emailed them? I just went through the Kickstarter. And, oh, okay. And sent oh, them wow. a message. Okay. It was, like, literally 15 minutes. I was surprised. They got, hey, can you send me the pictures, and we'll see what we can do. Either, you know, offer a refund or, you know, send you another one. So I sent it to them. Um... I was told to use black nail polish. Okay. Kind of weird. Okay. Kind of weird. And, you know, it wasn't a huge damage thing. I was kind of upset because everything else is perfect, and then there's a little nick. You just a few, got a brand new nick. table. A brand know? new table. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I did the black nail polish, and honestly, me, I was actually happy with it. Okay. Now, when you came in, I think I even tested you. I yes. said, hey, do you see any issues with this? And... I wasn't, it wasn't that easy to see. I had to walk around it, and I felt it. Like, I could feel it on the side. I was like, oh, there's something that I could look. But, but what, obviously, no, you and, can't really see and it. And what did you see? The cat scratches. Yes. Right? So here's the thing. It's Which like are getting, even smaller than that. Right. You know? So yeah. it's like getting a new car. Like, as soon as it's scratched, like, ah, whatever. You know what I mean? Hey, it fulfills <clears throat> its purpose. Yes. And that's only the topper. You take the topper off, this table is pristine. It's immaculate. Yeah. Right? This is great. Uh, so I'm putting together, like I said, like three hours, very simple to do. The cup holders, there was an issue with the cup holders, okay? They were missing some of the nuts on there, and apparently you could use the two washers. There was another work away around it. It didn't work out that well. I contacted them, right. and they told me what size nuts that I could use. Okay. So I just, honestly, I just ran into the, a local hardware store. I and paid a up. dollar, probably. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay. And did it myself, not a problem. They work fine. It's great to have cup holders right yeah, yeah. you know I, I really it's just like on their it. hassle i mean you purchase the table you expect it to, to be ready yes so okay but yes. the customer service you say would be what good bad fast fast okay, <laughs> okay. fast all right okay but i am happy yeah, I mean, this is this very minor thing, so yes. I'm, sh I'm sure if the table leg was broken... Oh, absolutely, they, okay. they would have been on top of it and, right. and sent out another one. It's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but the table works. It's sitting here. There's right. great leg room underneath. Yeah, there's a lot of leg room. I like this. We, we, we keep doing this, putting yes. our arms down. I didn't have, know how great this actually was. Instead and, of having this. And know, I'll yeah. say like 90% of the, the people that would play this game are going to roll dice that stay on this table. Yes. Because of this ledge. You yeah, know? yeah, that's, so, that's true. We played with this. Um, we've actually played this game called Charterstone the other day for the first time. We had uh, five people playing. We had great space on here. It's wonderful. So yeah, the dimensions, It's I think it's three feet by... I don't know, um, but it's maybe five and a half, something like that. This is again yeah, the Dutch. I, oh, I think it's three by five. Okay, exactly. Um, and before, I, I'm sorry. Let, let me step back. One more thing I want to point out is the neoprene felt that came. Now it's two sided, so it's 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 a uh, uh, burgundy, okay, and blue on the other side. Okay. Um, and I was a little upset when I saw that it's actually a little bit longer. Yeah, than I noticed that table. right away. Yeah. Uh, so I went again. I, I did some research, and apparently this actually shrinks. Okay. It takes about a month, they say, for it to shrink down, for it to fit good. So like, you could cut it, and I was going to, but they say don't let it shrink. Rather, uh, my my I thing find is, it weird. <clears throat> why don't they let it shrink? I mean, unless they're pumping these things out. But tell me then that you're pumping these out and you don't have the time. To do the right work. They might have. I just, you know, after a long time of listening to updates, I kind of was just like, I just wasn't showing up to my right. door. My other, my other point is, it's long this way. Yes. But What's not this way. What's stopping it from going short this but way now? why? Yeah, but why? It's, it's, not, it's not any longer here. And that, yeah. So that, that shrinking doesn't make any sense. But we can't really deny or confirm that that's what's going to happen yet. Because it hasn't happened. Oh, no. Don't so know. we'll have But yet I can still later. play the game. So play games, yes. which is the way it is. It's t perfectly fine. Even if you were in that corner over there, it's you, not going to affect you at all. Right. Uh, okay, so now going back to the dimensions. So, yeah, I think it's 3 by 5 
Uh, and if you're playing a game like um, like X Wing, their standard tournament style now is like a three by three. Okay. Which is oh, which is fine good. for this. Right. But when you play in like an Armada game or some of the other bigger tournaments, it's three by six. Okay. So that three by six is I think is their other line of table, the bigger version, the eight players. But if you put the topper on it, it's very close to being six feet in length. Okay. It's like short by like five inches. So you can still get the same experience, I feel, when you put the topper on. Right. And again, now you've got a, a game underneath, and then you can play a second game on top, which is just great. So again, again I would definitely get the topper if you now, have an option. Now, this is, I think, three inches or something like that. Is this going to be... It's like be... two and a half, I think it okay. is. Okay. So most figures do not fit in this. So you wouldn't be able to put the top around with a figure in here. Have you been able um, to do that? Okay, we don't know yet. I, you know, you might get a few a few figures in here, okay. but you know, some of the big ones, like obviously play Monster Hunter. A lot. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Monster Hunter. Uh, Kingdom sure. Death. Thank Monster. you. Uh, you won't be able to put those in, but that's fine. Yeah. You know, but yeah, dice or anything that's. Not Which is very cool. I, I like that. I like that because you can, one, you could have a game being played, and then the next day put it away. You yes. know, oh, I don't play games, you know, or something like that, or. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> or, you know, you could put a game on the bottom. A good save state. Yeah, and it's exactly, it's a save state. Yeah. So it's a great example. Yep. Yeah. But the table looks really good. I like the way it, uh, the table feels nice and smooth. Yes. But again, that's this rubber wood Duchess It's the edition. rubber wood. That's right. That's really what it is. It was nice to feel something besides particle board. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> and this is nice. Like, it's, you know, if you want to pick up a card, you just press down on it a little bit and you can pick it up. So it's yes. not more, you're not on that, that table surface trying to get underneath the table. We were playing Scythe last week. That was impossible on a table. <laughs> yes. Get dang cards up. But um, I, I like it as a third, per, as an outside party looking at it. I think it's a really nice table. Uh, I can't wait to play on it. Um, it's great. You... It's great. I, I give it an A+. Plus. I, I, okay. I'm, even with its minor problems... Uh, I'm very happy with the table. Well, that's all you can ask for. Exactly. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. Um, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter. You're going to be putting up, um, we're going to try to get like certain things up for Kingdom Death, little teasers of what mm, you guys are going to be doing. Yeah, so, so obviously we're at the point where we're doing a Kingdom Death episode every Friday. Right. Okay, so we're going to start doing some teasers of like our fight ahead of time by, you know, posting it on our Twitter account. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. So thanks again for tuning in. Again, this is the Board Game Table at Hit Points Gaming.